Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript tutorial video series. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this awesome automatic image slider using simple JavaScript. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to open my text editor. Uh, here I have a folder with five images uh, for the image sliding. Now I'm going to create my HTML. Let me name them as uh, index.html. Let me create the basic boilerplate. Here in the title, I'm going to say automatic image slider. In the body section, I'm going to create the div and with a class name called container. So within that div, I'm going to create another div where I'm going to put my images. So let me name them as images for this container. So here I'm going to put my images with the image source tag. Then the name of the image is this one. Let me duplicate this one. Let me rename the name of the image. Let me save and run. Now the images have come. All I need is I need to style them a bit so that it would look nice like the way it looks in the original design. So let me create the style.css file. Let me link the style.css into my HTML. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the universal selector. Let me remove the initial margin and padding. box sizing I want them to be border box then I'm going to apply some styles for the body tag I want them to be display as a flex align item center justify content center and then the height let me say 100 VH they are good now let me go and refresh the browser Okay, I'm sure that you have not seen anything. Let me apply some more styles so that you will see the actual changes. Let me go and target this class name called container. So let me set some height, 550 pixel. Let me apply some box shadow property. So three pixel, pixel 16 pixel. The color would be, let's say, I think we are good. Let me go and refresh. Now we have set the container size, but we have not set the image to fit into that particular container. So in order to do that, what we can do, I'm going to this class name called images, then I'm going to target the image so that that image can fit into that actual container size. So for that, images, img, height is going to be 100% of that particular container height, with this also going to be the same. Let me save and refresh. Here we go. Now the images have fit into the actual container size. But you can see the images are overflowing. So in order to stop this, what we can do, we can go and set the overflow property in the container there. Let us hide the overflow. So overflow is hidden. Now go and refresh the browser. It will no longer overflow. It's right, right? Now what is next? We need to make the automatic image slider. So in order to do that, I'm going to my JavaScript file. Let me create one. Name them as main.js. Let me link this one into my HTML. Script source. Name of the file is main.js. Let me close this one. So in the main.js, let me create a variable name called var. Maybe I'm going to set them to zero. So this is a first index where my first image is going to be stored let me create the function since it's the automatic slide so let me name them as automatic so within this automatic slide what i'm going to do i'm going to create the variable let me call them as a pix i want to loop through all the pictures so that's the reason why i have created this variable so what i'm going to do first i'm going to create a variable name called image here i'm going to use document dot query selector or method and then I'm going to target these images here so let me copy this img tag because what I want to target what I want to look through is that particular images so all those images are stored into this variable name called img now I'm just going to look through for pix initially is equal to zero semicolon then I'm going to this Fix less than img dot length. 
So this length is a default function in JavaScript is going to find out the length of the total images. In this case, I have used five images. So picture image is equals to five. Then I'm going to increase the fix. So here what I'm going to print, I'm going to just loop through the fix. Let me use style dot display equals to none. Then if it is failed, I'm going to increase the first index. I'm going to increment them. If that first index is greater than image img dot length, if it is the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the first index is equals to one. Otherwise, image is going to be first index minus one dot style dot display i want them to be displayed as a block okay i think we are good just that i have the function name as automatic slide i have not called the function so let me just copy the name of the function i'm going to call the calling function calling let me save and refresh my browser now everything is okay just that the images are not moving so in order to do that in javascript there is a function name called set timeout so i'm going to set that function here set timeout as a function so it's going to take two parameters one is the name of the function and the second one is how many milliseconds so here i'm going to say 2000 milliseconds meaning two seconds every after two seconds i want these things to be changing so here the function uh, i can say the name of the function what is the name of the function here automatic slide that is the name of the function so this automatic slide function have to invoke every after two seconds let me save and run you will see you see the images have been changing every after two seconds when you put 2000 is a millisecond 2000 millisecond is equivalent to two seconds now our automatic image slider is working as expected if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe